Hey peeps, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sword, otherwise known as Katana Crossing, and so recently I've been working on speedrunning Happy Home Paradise on Omelet, my farm core island, as one does when they restarted an island. I thought maybe I could start a whole farm core series specifically for Happy Home Paradise, and I thought, why not start with the cafe, a facility? I feel like they're easier because there's no exterior to work with. So yeah, I'm really excited to show you guys what I did. So let's go ahead. This is obviously voiceover me, and I'm just gonna be talking about what I did, what was going through my head when I made this. I don't know. Let me know if you guys enjoy this and I can make this into a series. So for this build, I decided that Egbert needed to be a part of it, Benedict needed to be a part of it, many important chicken villagers. They are two very important chicken villagers, so I decided to choose the cafe, and basically what I'm going for in this build is I wanted to do kind of like a rustic... I guess not really rustic, but kind of like a country. I just wanted to do something that was homey and small, quaint, just kind of like um, a breakfast place, but I wanted to make it look super farmy. So I used a lot of the ranch furniture in this. You'll see, um, I love using the ranch furniture. I think it looks so cozy, so cute. So cute and cozy is what we're going for. Cute, cozy country cafe that serves mostly breakfast but also brunch items. So it's basically like a brunch country cafe, if that makes any sense, I don't know. I also try to keep it very neutral, um, but also bright at the same time. I know that probably contradicts itself a little bit, but I wanted to have the yellow in it kind of for Benedict, kind of do what I've been doing for Omelette this whole time, lots of yellows, but still neutrals to accompany it, so I don't know, I think it's super cute. Obviously I haven't unlocked everything yet since I haven't finished speedrunning this, so maybe I could go back and make this better. So of course now I'm working on the little kitchen behind there, I didn't want to make it look too, too crazy, I wanted to just make it look like someone's kitchen at their home, you know? I want it to be so casual, so chill, and I don't know, I think we achieved it. I also put like little pastries, like a little display case there so that, you know, there's people with the sweet tooth like myself who maybe want something sweet in the morning. And I also realized there's actually no egg items, like there's no food items that are egg based that are just eggs in the game. So I tried to use like the ramen because you can kind of see the eggs in the ramen and tried to make it look like, you know, someone's cooking up some eggs in that little kitchen there. I went back and forth on a lot of different things because the setup for some reason was really hard for me because I wanted to make it look more realistic, like I wanted there to be a place where you could check out, but I didn't want it to be too, you know, the main thing. I also did use a rubber duck as a little decor because why not? Why not? I kind of wish I would have used one of the Zodiac Rooster items, but I don't think I had it unlocked yet while I was doing this, so I think I have to get the DIY for it to have that item. So I didn't have like a ton of items to work with, but I think it still turned out pretty cute for what I had to work with. There's a little toaster behind there. Um, got the orange juice, got the, just everything. I tried to include lots of drinks. Eventually you'll see that I end up adding, I think it was like a coffee grinder or some kind of coffee machine because, you know, we need, we need our coffee. We need our coffee. Like when I go to a brunch place, I'm ordering coffee. I don't know about you guys, but I'm ordering coffee. This is the first time I played HHP in a while. I haven't had much time to play it recently, so yeah, I'm a little rusty, but I think it's still, it's turning out cute. I tried to add, you know, just little pots and pans on the walls, little details, the orange clock, since it's a brunch place, why not? Um, I also did end up adding, it's like a little, what is it? It's like a scroll because they have the, they have a rooster one, so I added that as the little hanging scroll of the of the entrance of the place. 
and then eventually i will be adding custom paintings on the walls and you'll see how cute they end up looking i just think adding custom designs always adds so much to an hhp build so yeah i don't know that's just something i've always done I did also add the dried flower garland. I think it was really cute and added a cute little touch to the place. I added some milk glass lamps and a ceiling fan or two because, I don't know, it looks like it's a very... It looks like a place that would get... would feel very humid. Not humid. I can't think of the word, but it would feel very very warm very fast because it's kind of like a smaller space so of course we had to add the fan the milk glass lamps for that extra lighting even though you know the lighting's not going to be amazing in here and then lastly i wanted like an egg rug i wish nintendo had an egg rug of some kind to use in animal crossing but instead i had to make do with these yellow rugs oh no i only kept one by the pastries because it was just too hard to center everything on the place so it was a little bit difficult so yeah this is the part where i'm adding the chicken canvas paintings i think it's so cute because it's being run by benedict and and uh egbert and i do also eventually want to add plucky because i think it's important that there's a hen that's running the place too i don't know And of course I made the exterior, you know, look very cute and kind of cottage core. This place has a lot of cottage core vibes, I feel like. So yeah, this is the completed Benedict's brunch box. That's the name I came up with because I thought it was cute. And yeah, that's all I got. That's all I got in my small brain. Um, you can see Clyde enjoying himself a little brunch with with jitters of course they would be in here of course they would be anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this let me know what you thought of the build i think it turned out so cute and let me know if you want me let me know if you want to see me make more hhp builds that are kind of in the farm core theme i think I think it would be fun so let me know if you guys would be interested in that and if you did enjoy this video make sure to give it a big like and also subscribe to keep up with my streams and uploads and i hope to see you all in my next video or stream bye